Travel trailers under 4,000 pounds, GVWR. Stick around, folks. You're going to want to check these out. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We sure are glad to have you. And if this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we also have our website called rvblogger.com which has hundreds of helpful articles about RVing as well. And we invite you to join our private Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies where you can jump in on all the fun, meet other RVers, ask questions, all that fun stuff. But without any further ado, let's get on with our video about travel trailers that weigh under 4,000 pounds GVWR. This travel trailer is the Coachman Clipper model number 162RBU. Has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,249 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 746 pounds, for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,995 pounds. It measures in at 19 feet 9 inches long and it sleeps two people. When you walk on into this trailer, you'll notice on the right hand side we have a dinette also a sofa and the Murphy bed. And then as you wrap on around towards the back of this trailer, you've got your pantry, refrigerator, kitchen area, and behind me here is where the full width bathroom is located. So here I am sitting at the very front of this trailer and I'm in a gigantic couch slash dinette slash Murphy bed. I mean, talk about your multifunctional travel trailer. This one sure has it all. Now, we've seen a lot of travel trailers these days moving away from the dinette concept, and that's what this trailer has done too. Rather than have a full-time dinette, they just have a standalone table here, and you can set this up, and then I guess you could have one, two, and then maybe a person on each end. So you could sort of get four people here, you know, relatively comfortably being able to eat dinner together. Another nice thing about this table is you can just fold it up, take it outside, and use it out there as well. So it really has a lot of functions. Now the sofa itself is very large, really pretty comfortable. Um, you know, sitting on here is, feels pretty nice. It also faces where the entertainment center would be, and that's where your TV would be located. So it's really in a good position here. Now to fold all this up or fold it all away and get the Murphy bed to pop out, let's go ahead and try that. And actually, Susan brought up a really interesting point. It's a shame the table's not a little longer because then maybe you could put the table in place, drop the table, and then make this a big bed area and you don't even have to use the Murphy bed. But they didn't do that, And um, but it would be pretty cool if they did. But anyway, to make this work is very simple. You just get the table out of the way, obviously, and just move the cushions around a little bit. These kind of slide around a little. And then there's just one latch here that you just pull and that releases your Murphy bed. And now this style of Murphy bed is great because it comes with one single mattress that doesn't fold up. Your sheets will stay on here. It's really pretty nice. Plus it's an east west bed, which a lot of people really like. Um, this one is 74 inches by uh 56 inches so that would be a twin bed full size bed full size bed. full size bed i never ever get twin and full size straight i just can't get them straight in my mind anyway uh murphy bed setups pretty nice up here now you'll notice on the one side you don't really have a place for hanging things you just have some open storage over here on the right um but at the head of the bed there are some receptacles and usb ports so you can at least plug in and charge things up at the end of your day. Hey guys, one other neat feature about this dinette slash sofa slash Murphy bed setup is that if you do remove the cushions, you have storage underneath of the dinette seating and even the center part of the sofa seating. And you can even get to that storage from outside your camper through the exterior door. So just around the corner from the sofa and dinette and Murphy bed is where the entertainment center is located. And they have it built in here at a 45 degree angle, which is great. Easy viewing from the sofa, dinette or Murphy bed itself. Although the head of your bed is on this side. So you might have to lay the other way in bed if you want to watch TV while you're in bed at night. Now, starting from the top down, 
you've got a nice amount of storage up top here. Obviously, your TV would sit right in the middle here. You've got your cable and auxiliary jacks plus a couple of receptacles. Below that, we have some open storage plus all of your radio controls. And then below that, even more storage down below. Here I am in the kitchen area of this trailer. And you'll notice it's a decent sized kitchen for a smaller trailer. First general impressions are that with the with the sink cover in place, there's an okay amount of countertop space in here. It does have this double burner stove top as well. And then above that, you've got a nice door with a black glass inset, plenty of storage up top. And then it does come with a regular microwave oven as well. So the sink in here is actually pretty small. I mean, if I had to do dishes in a size, in a sink this size, I would have water all over the countertop, probably dripping down the front of the cabinets. Susan would be freaking out, yelling at me because I got water everywhere again. And so uh, for me, it doesn't matter what size the sink is, I get water everywhere. But with a sink this little, it might be a problem for you. Now down below, you've got plenty of countertop space underneath of the sink area as well. And then next to that, even more storage underneath of your two burner cooktop. Now directly across from the kitchen is where the wardrobe or pantry cabinet and refrigerator are located. The wardrobe cabinet is very spacious. You'll note that it has a bar up top so you can hang things, but you could also place things down below. And then in addition to that, you've got some storage below that cabinet too. The refrigerator here has a nice wood panel on the outside of it, so it blends in with the trailer. Inside the fridge, it's a good size fridge for a trailer that this size is this size. It runs off of propane and shore power, but good size fridge. And then of course it's got a separate freezer, which is terrific. And that's a good size freezer too. Here I am standing in the shower in this bathroom and we'll try to get some better angles of it, but it's a big bathroom. It runs the whole entire width of the back of this trailer. So it's a pretty decent sized bathroom. Now inside the shower and in the skylight, there's about six feet, three inches of headroom in here. And it's a very, very basic shower. They don't even have any of the plastic shower walls in here. They just use the regular camper walls. They've caulked them all in and that's it. I mean, it has a shower curtain, so it's very, very basic. There's also a little step up to get in here and it's probably about 10 inches or so to step up and into the shower. So now Susan's standing in the shower and I'm on the other side of the bathroom. So plenty of room in here and you'll notice right away you've got a big medicine cabinet up here plenty of storage room inside of here this is a deep cabinet too i mean that's whatever 10 inches deep on the shelf so a good amount of space um, a decent sized sink in here plus plenty of countertop space it's also got some receptacles here so you can plug in your hair dryer shaver whatever you need then there's a little bit of open storage down below and also some closed cabinet storage under the sink. As far as the elbow test goes, this baby passes with flying colors. This travel trailer is the Intec Soul Horizon. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,372 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 628 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 4,000 pounds. It measures in at 19 feet even and it sleeps up to four people. When you first walk into this travel trailer, you've got your dinette and living area on the right hand side. That wraps on around to where you have a mid bath location and also your kitchen area. And then behind me here towards the back of the trailer is where your bedroom is located. So here I am sitting at the dinette and living area in the very front of this camper. And I would say, you know, you could easily sit three people at this table comfortably. You could squeeze four in here if you wanted to. The camper does sleep four people, so you know you could squeeze all in here and eat dinner here as well. In addition, the dinette itself does convert into another bed where two people could sleep. Now up above me here, you'll notice that we have these three cabinets overhead with tons of storage space in there. There's also some open storage space on each side overhead. And then you, the other big, big thing you'll notice in here is all of the window space. So you have windows on either side that open and close so you can get a cross ventilation in here. But in, in behind me here, you've got this giant windshield which really just lets in a ton of light. And I could see you sitting here in the morning enjoying a cup of coffee and looking out at your wonderful view while you're camping. And that's what these 
um, intact campers are mostly known for is this big giant panoramic wind windshield in the front. Also underneath the dinette seating area, there's additional storage space. Just next to the dinette area is where you'll find your microwave oven up top. And you have a little bit of countertop space here. You have some of your control panels. And then below that, you've got your refrigerator with a little separate freezer area. Down below the refrigerator, there's even a nice big drawer for more storage. So here I am at the kitchen area and I really love this kitchen setup. It's done very, very well. First, we have a two burner stove here with a nice glass top that can be used in the down position to expand your countertop space. Then we have a nice big farmhouse style sink here. Now this is a big single bowl sink, which I really, really love. Too many times we'll see a double bowl sink in an RV and neither side is really big enough to wash your dishes and keep all the water in the sink, but a nice big single bowl sink certainly works for that. In addition, it's got a very high end faucet overhead and the sprayer is built right in. Down below the cooktop, we have a bank of four drawers, and these are all very nice size, high quality drawers. You can store tons of kitchen utensils in here. Instead of being too narrow, these are nice and wide, so you can really store a lot of things in here. And at the very bottom, you even have a deeper drawer for your pots and pans storage. Under the kitchen sink, we also have tons of cabinet storage here as well. Now, just above the countertop, you'll notice this really nice backsplash that they have installed here. And then just off to the side of the countertop is where a receptacle is located. So you can plug in a coffee pot or a toaster in the morning and make full use of that. Now, just above the backsplash is where this nice big oversized window is located. And then above that, we have a couple of cabinets for even more storage. So here I am in the back of this camper and that's where the bedroom area is located and it's a very nice layout. Just to my right here, your left is where the TV is located. And then above that, you've got a couple speakers and a clock. I don't know how I feel about the clock when I'm camping. I prefer not to know what time it is, but sometimes I guess you need to know. Above that, you've got some open storage. There's lighting built into the ceiling so it doesn't protrude down, which is a very nice feature. And then you have these cabinets across the top for additional storage. Also behind me here, you'll notice you've got a nice big window location so you can get extra light into your bed area. And then on the other side, at what would be the head of the bed, you've got a little shelf in the corner, you've got a reading light, you've got some receptacles and a a 12 volt plug and also your emergency exit window which does open and it has a screen so you can get some airflow into your bedroom area you'll also notice there's additional storage up top and then they have this really neat feature called an insta hanger and you just open that up and you can hang your items right on the bar before i forget let's get a measurement on this bed i think it looks like a residential queen and it is 60 inches wide and Yep, 80 inches long. So it's a residential style queen size bed in here, which is fantastic. One last feature is just below the bed, there's another drawer that pulls out for even more storage. So here I am in the bathroom and I'm standing in the shower area like I always am. Now, one thing to note about this camper is that this is a mid bath design. And in this style of fiberglass camper, that's a really, really good thing because the ceiling bows from the ends and it gets highest in the center of the camper. So a mid bath gives you the most ceiling height in here. So you don't have to crouch down while you're taking a shower. In fact, in the, I guess, fan area, we have a total of about six feet, two and a half inches. The rest of the ceiling in here is about six feet, two inches. So pretty decent uh, ceiling height in here for a smaller camper. Now this is also a wet bath. And so the floor that I'm standing on is the bathroom floor, but it's also the shower floor. And in a wet bath, all that means is that you've got your toilet in here where you would use the bathroom. And then this is also your shower area. Now a great feature inside this wet bathroom is it doesn't have an interior curtain 
like so many wet baths have that we see. Now the advantage to that is once you shut the door, you don't have to close this curtain all the way around the perimeter to keep other things dry. Uh, it's just very, it's just a much more convenient way to take a shower. Now the front of the shower has a very nice uh, shower head set up. You can actually adjust the height of the shower head, which is fantastic. This is something more like you would see in your home in a residential bathroom. It's got a soap dish built right on there. And then behind me here, it has these pockets on the wall and you could put your shampoo bottles or shaver or whatever you put in, you know, whatever you keep in your shower, you can tuck into these pockets. And then your toilet paper holder is waterproof in here. So even though the spray from the shower may hit it, your toilet, your toilet paper will stay dry. Now, Susan just said that's the most thorough bathroom re review that I've ever done, but I'm super impressed with this camper. And I think the bathroom especially is set up very, very well for a wet bath. Uh, as far as the elbow test goes in here, there's plenty of width. I mean, I can't extend my elbows fully, but I can get them, you know, halfway there. So not a bad setup at all. One last really cool feature about this camper is that it's got an outdoor kitchen setup. Now the doors on the outside of this camper are all magnetic latch, which I really like. It's just so convenient instead of having a manual latch that you have to clip into place. Uh, once you're in here, everything just slides on out. The first thing you'll notice is the Norcold refrigerator freezer. I think this is great. If you're hanging out at the campsite and you got some sodas or some beers or whatever, you can just keep them in here and you don't have to go inside the camper all the time. And then another nice feature is that it's got a grill with a solid surface so you can do all your cooking out here if you'd like. Just a really, really smart setup. Now, since this camper is brand spanking new, they have not unpacked all of the grill parts yet and put them on here. And we're not gonna go ahead and unpack them. We'll let the new owner of this camper have the joy of doing that. But that's why you don't see the solid surface cooktop on here right now. Introducing today's sponsor, RV Snap Pad. RV Snap Pad is the world's only permanent jack pad. They're made for fifth wheels, motorhomes, travel trailers, truck campers, and much more. Snap pads were made to snap onto your levelers or stabilizer system and stay there for good. With snap pads installed, your RV will benefit from increased stability and protection for each landing foot, less sinking in soft surfaces, and you won't need to get under your rig to place and retrieve jack pads. We're partnered with SnapPad to offer our viewers a special discount on a set of snap pads. Just click the link in the description below or go to rvsnappad.com Enter in your RV info and get an instant recommendation for the right size snap pads for your rig. Then use our discount code RVBlogger10 during checkout to get 10% off. Snap pads are made in the USA and they offer additional discounts for veterans or first responders. Visit RVSnapPad.com today for more info. This travel trailer is the New Camp Tab 400. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of 2,840 pounds a cargo carry capacity of a very impressive 1,060 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,900 pounds. It measures in at 18 feet, three inches long, and it can sleep up to three people. When you walk into this travel trailer, you'll notice your living and dinette area on the right. Then it wraps on around to the bathroom, kitchen, and sleeping area in the back. When you first walk into this travel trailer, First thing you'll notice on the right hand side here is the dinette. Now I would say that two people, maybe three, could pretty easily sit here and be comfortable. The dinette, by the way, does convert into another bed, but it's not really big. It would be okay for a child, but I don't think an adult would be able to fit up here very well at all. A couple other really nice features are you've got these nice big windows in here that just let in lots of air, lots of light, really fantastic. Of course, New Camp always has these really great screens and shades that you can use. So when your windows are open, the bugs can't get in. Also, you'll notice up top here, there's some additional storage space. They try to take and use every single space in here for some storage purpose. There's even some storage space under the dinette seats. Just past the dinette area, you'll notice the kitchen area. And this is a pretty good sized kitchen for a smaller travel trailer. The first thing you'll notice is the kitchen sink, which is a good size sink, good round and pretty deep bowl in here. So a great size sink for washing all your dishes and stuff. And the kitchen faucet in here actually stows away so you can bend it over to the side 
and then you can lower this lid and now you even have more countertop space in here if you need it now next to that you have a two burner stove and then below that you've got some drawers for all of your kitchen utensils and all that good stuff and then just beyond that is your little mini fridge now this is a smaller size fridge it does have a separate little ice tray up top but for a weekend camper you really can't beat it now just below the sink is a really really neat cabinet that i've not seen anyone else do it's got these rounded doors and it's got like a circular storage inside of there but it's a great way to make the most use of the space now, above your stove and your cooktop, you've got these nice cabinets that pop right out. And all these hinges are like super heavy duty, very, very high quality, and they work just great. Then you've got a little bit of additional open storage here as well. One more really nice feature about this kitchen is this giant window right over top of the countertop. It totally swings out and open. You can lower your screen or you can pull up your shade. But either way, you get lots and lots of airflow inside of here. So here I am at the very back of the trailer, sitting on the bed back here, and it's a pretty good amount of space. First thing you'll notice here on my right, your left, is the TV location. Perfect spot for laying in bed and relaxing and watching some TV at the end of the night. Then behind me here, you'll notice this gigantic window. So if you want fresh air blowing through your RV, this is a fantastic model for that and it's got all the screens that you need and everything and they're super high quality so i just really enjoy the window screens and shades in here now you'll also notice at the head of the bed there's a couple of reading lights i guess you could say one for each partner and then there's also a cubby down here which includes a couple of receptacles i don't see any usb ports but you could always plug in and have the usb attachment so you can charge your phones, tablets, whatever else you have. Now the bed that's back here is seems like a pretty good sized bed and it's about 55 inches wide by the whole width of the camper which makes it about 80 inches long. So it's good and long for most folks. I you know a queen size would be 60 inches. This is 56 so pretty close. Just next to the bed, there's a wardrobe closet here where you can stow away all of your clothes. There's also an additional drawer down below that. And there's even a place to store your shoes down below. So here I am inside the bathroom and the it's a wet bath in here. So your shower and your toilet and your sink are all in the same room and the floor itself is the drain. But anyway, you've got a ceiling height in here of about six feet, one inches tall. So anybody taller than that, you're gonna to have to crouch down a little bit. It's also got some open shelving in here so you can store some towels and washcloths and things like that. There's even a receptacle in here so you can plug in a hair dryer or a shaver. Now you're probably wondering, well, if you're in here taking a shower, you don't want that to get wet. Well, there's a curtain that actually goes around the whole perimeter of the room. And so that way it doesn't get this stuff wet because your shower curtain would be hanging here. Now, in addition to that, your sink is like an airplane style sink. This just folds down, faucet pops on out of there. You pop the plug and it drains right on down. And then behind me here is where your commode is located. Now, there's no way this baby's going to pass the elbow test, but I got to say, I don't feel like it's really that cramped in here at all. Hey guys, now that you checked out these awesome travel trailers, there's only three things left to do. Number one, please give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Number two, please smash that subscribe button and join in on all the fun. And number three, if you want to check out some more small travel trailers, just click the box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video.